Hi everyone, Uncle Raymond here. Welcome to another new video. This will be a quick review of the Xiaomi MIIIW wireless keyboard and mouse combo. By the way, does anyone know how to pronounce MIIIW? Well, although MIIIW is part of the Xiaomi ecological chain of companies, you won't find any Xiaomi logos here. I guess since they are Chinese and if you really want to know how to pronounce MIIIW in Chinese, it is Mi Wu, the direct translation of which to English means rice object. Basically, when I was setting up my new workstation, I wanted to keep to an as low as possible budget without sacrificing on design or quality too much. You may have noticed that Uncle Raymond's new workstation is largely white and red in colors. So when I found this Mi Wu wireless keyboard and mouse, I knew I had to get it. And the price of around $20 was really quite irresistible. Let's see what do you get for such a low price. To be honest, I wasn't expecting much but when I opened the package, I was pleasantly surprised. The shade of white on the keyboard and mouse matched well with my workstation and with that little splash of red on the mouse, it really couldn't be more perfect. This is basically a full-size 104-key wireless keyboard and mouse combo that works on the typical 2.4GHz Bluetooth band. If you count all the keys on the keyboard, there are actually 105 keys, but more on that later. Both devices need two AAA batteries each, which are actually included in the package even though the seller wasn't sure they were. The USB Bluetooth transmitter is in the battery compartment of the keyboard and so, you just have to remove it and plug it into your PC. Once the batteries are installed, you can just go ahead and switch both devices on and they are ready to rock and roll. On to the keyboard first. I've seen some sellers claiming that this keyboard is IPX4 water resistant, meaning it is protected from splashing water from all directions. Uncle Raymond isn't so sure about that as I don't see any such ratings in the owner's manual. If we prefer to tilt the keyboard upwards, there are a pair of tiny legs at the bottom but they don't really make that much of a difference, as you can see here. Ok, so the reason why there are 105 keys is that there is one key being used to switch the keyboard between PC or Mac mode. Yes, this keyboard can be used for Apple computers as well. Technically, it should be between Windows or Mac OS, as the minimum requirement is Windows 7 or Mac OS 10.0 onwards. If you press the PC Mac button once, you switch between the modes. Green light indicates the keyboard is in PC mode and white in Mac mode. The light will switch off after a few seconds. Elsewhere on the keyboard, the power switch is on the top panel on the right, just behind the Mi Wu logo. Once you switch it on, the num lock, PC Mac and power indicators will come on for a few seconds. And of course, there is a caps lock indicator as well. On to the mouse. The power switch is underneath and overall the mouse itself is suitably sized and has a customizable roller wheel as well. There is also a DPI switch and when you click it, a red indicator light will blink. Once for 800 DPI, twice for 1200 DPI and three times for 1600 DPI. By the way, if for some reason you need to reset the Bluetooth connection and pairing between the keyboard and mouse, you can press the escape key and the minus key on the keypad at the same time. So that's it, the overview is done. Now on to the things I like and dislike. I definitely love the price and actually when Uncle Raymond bought it, it was a little under $19. Now it should be selling in the low 20s and this is probably a newer version. The design is really nice as well and the keyboard has enough heft in it so it can still be stable even if you type aggressively like Uncle Raymond. Now the dislikes. There's only one actually. I've been using this keyboard for about a month now and my S is disappearing. I mean the letter S is starting to wear off on the key. And so is the control key. Well, at least you know Uncle Raymond is fond of constantly saving his files. Second of all, the keyboard kind of went bonkers after I changed the setting to UK English in Windows. The add sign became something else and I couldn't use certain shortcuts like Ctrl A, Ctrl C. I later found that this is actually a Windows 10 issue and I had to change the setting back to US English. Well, 
as the Brits would say, bollocks. So will Uncle Raymond recommend this keyboard to anyone? Yes, definitely. At this price, you can't really go very wrong. But if you're bothered by eventually fading letters on your key, then perhaps your $20 will be better spent elsewhere. Well, I hope you enjoy watching this short review and I'll leave the links to this wireless keyboard and mouse combo in the video description below. Please remember to subscribe to my channel for more videos. As always, thank you everyone for watching and Uncle Raymond will see you in the next video.